Hey, it's a Humble Collector here, and we have an awesome unboxing video today. We got some great stuff, uh, so without further ado, we're going to get started. Two packages, both from the, uh, the same seller, and yeah, overall, it's just, it's really great, and you guys are going to love it. Okay, yeah, that looks like it was taped down there, kind of, maybe. There we go. Yes, I realize that probably wasn't the actual proper way to open that, but it's fine. We are in now. Looks like there's a note here. Oh, this is, uh, this is actually a letter about uh, one of the items in the other package. So we're going to open these first. These are very cool. Oh, look at those. So these are projectiles for the uh, Granatenwaffer uh, 16. It's like a mini like grenade mortar that the Germans used during... World War I, very popular, very lightweight mortar, easy to move around. Um, I'm not quite sure where these ones were dug at, up at, somewhere on the western front, I believe. But pretty, pretty neat. This one's got like some green paint on it, or maybe that, it was corroded next to something that was bronze or brass. Copper. Copper's what, yeah. Yeah, copper's what does that when it's green, so that, that'd be what that is. Okay, yeah, those are pretty cool. Obviously, uh, been, well, my nature of being in the ground for, you know, decades are inert. That's pretty cool. And then, this is the big package. This is the exciting one. Oh, those weren't exciting. And if you're thinking, boy, that's a long package, I kind of hope I know what's in there. You probably do. It is, well, I, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up, it'll be a surprise, but uh, there's some pretty neat stuff in here. Okay, looks like we need to, Oops, sorry. Okay. I need to move something before I knock it off the, uh, the side table here. In there. Right. First package. Right. Oh, might just have to like. the end table because it's heavy, but I suppose we'll open this first one since it came out. Oh boy. Uh, do you see it? Do you see the history? <laughs> and unfortunately, it looks like a bunch of this up by the barrel cracked during shipping. Oh, just look at that. 
So you're looking at part of a Lee Enfield that was dug up at uh, Dunkirk. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's another part to it in here that hopefully also survived. Yeah, this is unfortunate what happened up the front here. All the concretion cracked off, you know, being underwater for, or laying on that beach for all those years. All right, we're the other items. So that's one battlefield firearm. Here's, here's uh, number two. And I will say there are three totals. This is a uh, this is an awesome haul. So this, this is a uh, Gewehr 98, or part of a Gewehr 98, and this and the other Doug rifle that I have uh, came out of uh, the Montfalcon area of the Meuse-Argonne battlefield. So very cool World War I era relics. So I'm going to set this aside and get the second one out. That's crazy. And uh, for the Dunkirk rifle, when I get the other half of it out of the box here, um, I'll read the full story behind it. And yeah, here's the other battlefield firearm. So this is really cool. This is a, uh, I believe a Bertier uh, carbine, or part of a Bertier carbine. At least they almost looks like you flip it up still. The crazy thing is the bolt's actually half open, and the bolt on Bertier carbines are straight, I believe. So the fact that this one's been bent like that, I don't know if that was done purposely after it was captured, you know, rendered inoperable, or if that was done during battle. That's pretty crazy. The bolt's still rusted in there in like a half open position. Well, if either of those guns could talk. Use Argon relics. Those are, those are pretty neat. Alright, the last part of the Dunkirk rifle, which is probably now one of, if not the highlight of my collection. So I know it's in the big package. I don't know what's in this little little one here. Oh, is it the It's the butt plate? And I don't know what this piece is. Is it another? off of. Or is that the... Yeah, I think that's the buff plate. It's definitely not the four blades of the magazine. Uh, okay. Okay, 
is the uh, the rifle butt. Let's see if that goes on there. And then I'll have to figure out where this piece goes on it. Yeah, so there it is. That is an Enfield dug up at Dunkirk. And I have the letter of the story behind it. Uh, so this individual living at Dunkirk, John Bart Square, uh, swear that these rifles have been found by metal detector on the beach of Bray Dunes during the winter of 2016 and date to the period of the Dunkirk evacuation of May 1940. They're... They're... These examples have been presented to the Dunkirk Police Department and have recognized their uh, new relic. I can't make out that last word, condition. Yeah, so these were actually still loaded when he found them. They actually had to take the ammo out, as you can see there. But uh, that is pretty crazy. I wonder if that's part of the magazine. I don't know. Yeah, we have to give this a good look over and figure out how everything hooks together. But yeah, that's pretty pretty neat to have a, uh, a relic rifle that has wood on it like that. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely leave me a comment down below. love hearing from you guys. Uh, happy Halloween. I know I'm a day late. But uh, yeah. Yep. Thank you all for watching and uh, happy collecting.